Hey everybody, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to make a bracelet today and I'm going to use some of the beads that I got in my most recent globalland.com order. I have a coupon code for Global Land. It's Teresa10 and I'll put it on the screen here and in the description box below along with a link to their home page. The coupon will save you 10% off your order if you make an order with them. I looked at their page before I uh, started the video and it looks like they're having an anniversary sale right now. I don't know how many years anniversary it is for them, but <laughs> it looks like they've got a lot of things on sale. Uh, I've already got this bracelet made because, you know, y'all know I usually have to make a, a test piece before I make one on video. Um, and uh, I've used these six millimeter cube beads that I got uh, in this big container with all these different colors in them. Uh, colors of cute beads and, and uh, I use the these are kind of an aqua color and then I've used some three millimeter uh, bicones from my stash and some 11 oak Durco galvanized gold Miyuki seed beads in this one uh, for the one I'm making today I've got some of the, the pink ones and some three millimeter pink bicones and then I have a toggle clasp, a couple of wire guards, a couple of little 4mm jump rings. I'm using my uh, galvanized silver Miyuki seed beads, 11 0 seed beads. I'm going to be using my 8 pound fire line, I mean my 6 pound fire line in crystal. And I've got a size 12 beading needle. And I'll just be using my pliers to put my clasp on at the end and my scissors and thread burner to cut and burn down my fire line. <clears throat> I wanted to use 8 pound fire line, but, and I kind of, I'm not real happy with this one because my little cubes are not in the little frames that I've made here as well as I would like them to be. They're kind of loose in there, and I think if I had used the 8 pound fire line that they would be in there better. But when I tried to use the 8 pound fire line, uh, these little connections here, in between I go through them a lot and it was hard to get through them with the eight pound fire line so I'm using the six pound I think this time I'll try to go through them more though and maybe I'll anchor them in there better um, but I think that's everything I'm using and I'll put links to everything I can find links for in the description box below of course I'll have links to these cube beads that I got from Global Land so hold on I'll get some of this out of the way and I'll be back Okay, I've got my seed beads and my cube beads out. That's all I'm going to need right now. I've got my needle threaded with a stop bead, and I'm just leaving enough to, about a six inch tail, just enough to put a needle on it and uh, sew it in later because I'm going to be coming back down the bracelet, so I don't need to leave a big long thread to do my clasping with. So I've got eight of my 11 seed beads on here. And I'm going to go through... Go back here to the beginning, go through the first four. And that puts four next to four there. Now I'm going to go through these again to straighten them up. I'm going to go down these four. Then back up these four. And then I'm going to go back down these four. Okay, now I'm going to pick up two 11 O's, one of my cube beads. I'm sure it would be easier to get my cube beads to stay in the little frames easier if they were smaller. Uh, these are six millimeter. If you use like a four millimeter cube bead, it would be easier to get them to 
anchored in their little frames but uh, I'm using six millimeters so I've got two 11 O's my cube bead and I'm gonna pick up two more 11 O's and I'm coming out of the bottom of those four I'm gonna go on the top what I've got now so now I'm going to go back around all this again I'm going to go into these two back up into my cube bead back into these two back down into these four I'm going to go back into these two down here, back up into my cube bead, now I'm going to pick up eight 11 O's. And I'm coming out of the top of that cube bead. I'm going to go on the bottom of it. Now I'm going to go back around all that again. I'm going to go through two. I'm going to go through four. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm going to end up with four on this side. And I just like to go through them that way to kind of sort of try to keep the shape. It probably doesn't really matter that much, but now I'm going to go through these two. Go back down into my cube bead. I'm going to go around all that again. I'm going to go into these two. up into these four into these two and now I'm going to pick up one eleven O and I'm going to go into these two Now I'm going to go down these four. And I'm going to go into these two. And I'm pick up another 11 0. And I'm going to go into these two. I think it's my first little cube surrounded with seed beads. Now this is what I'm going to do. This I didn't do this on that other price, but I'm going to go into these four. I'm going to go into three of these. I'm going to go back into my cube bead. And then in these five down here on the bottom, I'm going to find the third one, and I'm going to go into it. And I'm going in from the same side that I started. I know sometimes I go in diagonally, but it doesn't really matter that much with a bead that's shaped like this. It matters more with a bead that's shaped like a, you know, a round bead or something. Now I'm going to back up my cube bead. And now I'm going to go into these three and then I'm going to go into these four and 
hopefully that'll make my little cube in there better I think it is of course it doesn't really matter that much with this one I mean once you have it on your wrist it doesn't really you know matter that they're not in there uh, as much as I want them to be <laughs> nobody's gonna be able to tell when it's on your wrist but uh, like it's probably just a little picky thing on my part but okay now I'm gonna make a a little connection point between this cute bead and my next cute bead. So I'm pick up four more 11 O's. Coming out of the top of the these four 11 O's, I'm going to go on the bottom of them. Now I'm going to go down these four that I just put on. I'm going to go back up these four. Now I'm going to go back down the four that I just put on. Okay, now I'm going to pick up two 11 O's. My cube bead. And two 11 O's. Coming out of the bottom of those four, I'm going to go on the top. I'm going to go around all this a couple more times. So I'm going to go into these two. And I got my thread tangled. <laughs> I was afraid I put too much thread on here to begin with. I just got it was just a slip knot it wasn't that bad I can get it all untangled here I've got it all around my piece and everything now okay now I'm going to go back up my cube bead Back into these two. Back down these four. Back into these two. Back up my cube bead. Back into these two. Back down these four. Back into these two. Back up my cube bead. Now I'm going to pick up eight of my 11 O's. That's a 15 O that's got in there with my 11 O's. I'm coming out of the top of that cube bead. I'm going to go on the bottom of it. Now I'm going to go in these two. I'm going to go up these four. And go across into these two. Now my cube bead across these two up these four across these two Now 
I'm going to pick up one eleven O, and I'm going to go into these two. Well, I think I am. <laughs> I'm going to go down these four. I'm going to go into these two. Pick up another 11 owl. I'm going to go into these two. I'm going to go up these four. And now I'm going to go into three of these. Back into my cube bead. And I'm going to find, distinguish my five down here from my four on the side. And find that third one and go in it. Then go back up the cube bead. And then I'm going to go into these three. And I'm going to go up these four. Oh, I'm always ending up with five beads on the top and five on the bottom and four on each side. I think these five down here are not exactly in the line very well, but I'm going to be coming back through them anyway when I put my bicone in. So I'll do one more and then I'll leave y'all alone. <laughs> I've got a little gold bead in there with my silver beads and I'm going to pick up four more 11 O's I'm coming out to the top of these four I'm going to go on the bottom I'm going to go back up the four I just put on Back down these four. Back up the four I just put on. Now I'll pick up two 11 O's, a cube bead, and two 11 O's. Coming out of the top, I'm going to go on the bottom. I'm going to go around all this a couple more times. So I'm going to go into these two. Back up my cute bead. Back into these two. Back down these four. Back into these two. Got my cute bead back into these two. Back down these four. I know this is a lot of reinforcing, but I think it's I think it's worth it in the end. Now I'm gonna go back into these two. Back up my cute bead. I'm going to pick up eight more 11 O's. Go 
coming out of the top of the cute bead. I'm going to go on the bottom of it. Now I'm going to go across these two. Up these four. Across these two. Into my cube bead, across these two, up these four, back into these two. I'm gonna pick up one cube bead, and I'm gonna go into these two. I say I was going to pick up one cube bead. <laughs> I picked up one eleven. I went. Into, I don't know what I said, but I picked up one eleven. I went into those two eleven O's. Now I'm going to go down these four. I'm going to go across these two eleven O's. Pick up an eleven O. Go into these two eleven O's. I'm going to go up these four 11 O's. Now I'm going to go across three of these 11 O's on the bottom. Go back into my cube bead. I'm going to go into the and it doesn't really matter if you get exactly the middle one down here. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out from my four here. Uh, five would be this. That would be my four there. So the fifth one would be, the middle one would be this one right here. I'm going to go into it, back up my cube bead, and I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to find my center one, which would be this one right here, because it's the third one from my connection point there. I'm going to go into it and the other two. Just want to go through two. My nails want to go through three. Okay, now I'm going to go up these four. That one up there is sticking up more than I want it to be, but like I said, when I come back through here to put my back ones on, I think it'll straighten out. So now I'm just going to do Make my little connection point again, do four more, and do another cube bead until I get all these used up. I'm using the same number that I used in that bracelet. It came to just a little over seven inches. So when I get all these cube beads used up, I'll be back. Okay, I just thought I'd come back and tell y'all. I don't know if y'all noticed what happened there, but I finally did. <laughs> uh, I went back and watched the clip. I realized after I turned the camera off that I... Uh, the reason it looked funny down here is because I had six beads across the bottom instead of five. And I went back and looked, and whenever I picked up the one to fill in the little gap at the bottom there, I accidentally picked up two. Uh, an extra seed bead jumped on my needle. They do that sometimes. I don't know why they want to be that way. <laughs> but that's why it looked funny down here, because when I picked up the one to fill in between the two, set, the two sets of twos, I ended up picking up two. So I had six on the bottom instead of five, so that's why it looked weird. But I went back and fixed it. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish until I get all my cube beads used up, and then I'll be back. Okay, I used up all my cube beads, so now I'm going to put my bicones down the side. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can leave it like this if you want to and just put your clasp on and, and have this be your bracelet. But I'm going to put my bicones down the side. 
And when I did this other bracelet, when I put the bicones down the side, it caused it to shrink up about a quarter of an inch. And I'm not sure this extra reinforcing is is doing much to hold these cupids in the little frames. It might be helping a little. But like I said, once you get it on your wrist, it's not going to really be noticeable that they're not in there as securely as I would like them to be. <laughs> so I've ended here where I put uh, two uh, set to my little connection point like I've made between all of them here, the two rows of four. So I'm going to go down these four. And then I'm going to go across these five. I can usually only get through four and I have to go through that fifth one by itself. And then I'm just going to pick up one of my back cones and go into these next five. I got through four. <laughs> that. I'm just going to do that all the way down through here and pick up my back cone. And go into the, these five. Got through all five of them that time. And pick up another back cone and go through these five. Got through all five of them that time, too. <laughs> now, when you're doing this, it might cause your bracelet to curve. Uh, but then when I, it did when I did that first one, but then when I went back down on this other side, it straightened it up. So, uh, of course, if you don't pull real hard, it probably won't cause it to curve. Uh, but when I get down this side, uh, I'll be back and we'll put on one side of the wire guard. So I'll be back. Okay, I've got all the way down one side of my bracelet with my back cones. And as you can see, it's curved just a little bit. But when I go down this other side, it's going to straighten it up. I hope. <laughs> I think so. It did on that other one anyway. So I'm coming out of these five here where I put on my last back cone. So I'm going to go down these four. And back up these four. And now I'm going to put my wire guardian on here. So I'm going to pick up four 11 O's, one of my back cones, one 11 O, and my wire guardian. I'm going to come down the other channel of my wire guardian back into the 11 0, the back cone, and the 11 0 under the back cone. Hold my finger over the wire guardian so the thread will land in the channel. Hold on to my wire guardian and pull the slack out of my thread. Now I pick up three more 11 0's. And I'm going to go back into these four 11 O's from the other side. Now I'm going to go back around all this again. I'm going to go up these three 11 O's, the 11 O into the back cone, the back cone. The 11 0 above the back cone. And I'm going to see if I can get into one side of my wire guardian. And there we go, yeah. And 
I'm going to go down the other channel of the wire guardian, back into the 11 0, the bicone, the 11 0 under the bicone, hold my finger over the wire guardian, and go down these other three 11 0's, back into these four. all that around all that one more time so I'm gonna go up these three the 11 0 under the back home the back home and the 11 0 above the back home back into the wire guardian down the other channel of the wire guardian the 11 0 above the back home the back home and the 11 0 under the back home Back down these other three 11 O's on the other side. I'm going to go into these four 11 O's, into these four 11 O's, now I'm going to go down these five 11 O's. Only four and then one more. <laughs> and now I'm going to pick up a bicone and go into the next five eleven O's. up another bicone, go on to the next five eleven o's. So I'm just going to go all the way down till I get this side done and then when I get to the other end I'm going to put my wire guardian on just like I did this one and then I'll just go ahead and put my clasping on. Y'all have seen me do that a bunch of times. You don't need to see me do that. And then when I come back, we'll see what I've got. So I'll be back. Okay, there are my bracelets made with some of the cube, cube beads that I got from Global Land. This one that I already had made and this one that I made today. I think it did help those cubes uh, a little bit going through them that extra time. I don't think they're hardly as loose as they are in that other bracelet. So... That's what it looks like. And uh, like I said, if you decide you want to make an order with Global Land, that coupon will save you 10% off your order. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked and commented on my videos. I have a website where I sell my jewelry. It's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested, along with a link to my Facebook, Instagram, and my email. If you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.